You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. If some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon, today I'm coming back at you with another Let's Play episode of Lust Shards, Aiden's Path. So, y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Jan, you are up, and let's go. Man, we eating real well. We doing rotations of uh, Lust Shards, Soul Creek... And uh, a few other games, man. We we doing real well on this channel. Anyway, y'all, alarm chan. Where are you, girl? There you go. Okay, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I get the thing off my face quickly and slam it in the ground. You 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 effing dick. <laughs> oh god, I can't. I'm out of breath right now. I cannot believe you did it. Was that what I think it was? My old flashlight. Yep. You should feel honored. It was the best in my collection. Besides, I can feel your erection, remember? I know you liked it. D does not mean I liked it. Heh, <laughs> sure. If you feel everything I experienced, doesn't that mean you also smelled your own used flashlight? Well, fuck off. Oh, wow, so you used to, so used to smell of your own cum, you didn't even realize you're smelling it, huh? Why did you have, why do you have that anyway? Having problems getting bitches? What? Of course not. I had all the bitches back in the day. Of course, Grandpa. That flashlight stank of virgin. By the damn medallion already. The demon keeps silent, but I can feel his angry mumbles. I walk further in, ignoring most other items. Don't want to be tricked into using some more of his old toys. Ooh. I finally see the medallion hanged in a corner. A diamond-shaped golden crest. It had a chain before it had a chain before, as far as I can see. But it looks broken now. Hey, is this it? Yes. Get in and let's go. It breaks my heart to leave all these OP items, but I really don't want to get in trouble for owning for owning ancient forbidden relics. As soon as we get out, the path we came through starts closing. At least we won't have to worry about that now. I go back to the dorm. Nothing out of the ordinary happened on the way here, except that my invisibility expired as soon as I got inside. I didn't realize an hour passed already, but it did not matter. I had to say that was a success. I walk up the stairs to my room and around the corner and... I see Aiden closing my door. He flinches as he sees me. Uh, Travis! A good, um... Uh, good evening. You forgot to lock the door, doofus. What are you doing out so late outside? I was just getting some fresh air. Were you looking for me? Yeah. Uh, yes, I was. I noticed your door was unlocked and nobody was responding, so I decided to let myself in. I hope that's not too much of a problem. I was just worried. Not at all. I'm glad you care. Oh, I care so much. You let a murderer lure you into a van if you complimented you once, depending on the compliment. So, what did you need me for? Right, I have to tell you that part now, too. We, er, I, I, of, uh, why did it say we? Interesting. I obviously came to bring your luggage that you left outside my door. Oh, I completely forgot. I was so tired, you know. I must have forgotten it here. Must have forgotten it there. We stand there with awkward expressions facing each other. So... where is it? I don't have it on me because I wasn't sure why you left it, so I didn't want to fondle with it. So I came to ask, do you want me to bring it? Uh, that would be awesome, thanks. Right, I'll get to it. I'll see you in a bit. Good, he didn't press me further. Because he has something worse he's hiding. I swear you mortals are as stupid as rocks. I don't care, I'm too tired. I want to try my new bed. I'll just leave the door unlocked for Aiden. Hopefully no thief or murderer decides to get in. At least the room looks well taken care of, but the bed sheets are kind of wrinkled. Whatever, can't be surrounded by hot guys and have smooth sheets. That's too much. I jump face first into the bed, arms spread. Finally. Hmm? What's this? My hands pick, and get, pick up something from the bed. My mind instantly went to an insect, which almost made me jump from the bed. Oh. But it was not. It was a red flower petal. Why is this here? Did the room have flowers in it? The petals are fresh and there are no flowers in the room at the moment, so I'd say no. Whatever. I threw the petal away. That's a mystery for future me. Daytime me. I close my eyes and go to sleep. One minute passes. I turn to my side. Another minute goes by. I take off my socks. Another one and I turn my pillow on the cold side. And an Okay, what the hell are you doing? You keep whining about how tired you were, so fall asleep already. I'm just... Too nervous. And I have questions. Uh, okay, I'll listen for a while. What are we working with? Well, first off, about this medallion, what does it do exactly? 
It absorbs energy and magic from anything or anyone the wearer touches. That way all you have to do is win a, to win in a fight is touch people. The perfect strategy for a pervert like you. God, Scribbles, you're such an asshole sometimes. <laughs> One second, y'all. Water time. Hmm. All right. Perfect strategy for a pervert like you. Hey! That's fair, actually. So, finally, you'll be useful. I will spend some of that energy to help you as well, if I feel like it. Thanks. That is reassuring. Anything else? Yeah. Um, do you think I'm hot? What? Like, am I attractive? Where did that come from? It's just that after the mixed reactions I kept getting today and yesterday, I was wondering what an impartial person might say. I do believe you're considered conventionally attractive, yes. Considered by whom? By this era's standards? As far as my knowledge goes from the media I consume so far, attractive people are more privileged. The fact you even survived a day in this place with your skills says a lot. You're good at insulting me without making me feel insulted. You're welcome. What were the attractive ones in your times? I was on the top of the chart, of course. But we'd fuck anything that moved, so my st not many standards were reached. So to be fair, your kind did a good job on that aspect at least. On behalf of all of humanity, thank you. It, it makes me feel better. Heh. <laughs> Alright, kid. And if I were on that topic, do you think... No. Oh. And if we're on that topic, do you think... Kid? <laughs> yeah, at least he fell asleep. I guess I'll go watch some more t of that TV he has in his brain. I wonder if those two are still on a break. Honestly, the male is obviously in the right. They were on a break! How is that even an argument? Later that night? Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. I cannot believe you'd pull something like that on me. And people say I am the irrational one. And nobody says that. They just think you have anger issues. Which is true, technically. And relax, dude. Everything would have played out fine if you didn't intervene, of course. Man, and to think I almost got that ass. You didn't almost get shit. I almost ru you almost ruined your image. Plus, didn't I tell you I made him invisible for an hour? How did you even expect to see him? I have an imagination, don't I? And invisible holes are still perfectly fine. Idiot. That's your opinion. Huh. <sighs> you dumb horn dog. Did you at least get your clothes before we exited the room? I'm not wearing any. So, you came all the way here naked. Pretty much. It's just a matter of time until he realizes if he didn't already. Damn it, and I'm not even sure I managed to pick up all your stupid rose petals. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Now for the real question, why in the name of the devil did you not use the invisibility spell on yourself like me? Oh, don't tell me you wanted to get caught. I get it. You know me better than I know myself, so you know that's not true. Just let me have some fun. If I couldn't do that with our, if I couldn't do that with our new friend. Your words keep making me angrier, you know. Oops, we don't want that to happen. You know what, you know what, let's just go reset before we do something we might regret. Smartest thing you said tonight. But seriously, why did you not go invisible? You're lucky I can't see you. Your face would be smashed potatoes. Would be mashed potatoes. Smashed potatoes. Cool. I'll go get the luggage. So, six hours is the limit. Let's keep that in mind. That's more than I expected. I think it's time to just tell him. Thursday. I wake up in the morning before my alarm clock. Oh, I feel well rested even on five hours of sleep. I wonder if Aiden is up yet. I sh should go see how he's doing. Or maybe I should make him come to me. Hmm, what do you think, Scribbles? Don't care, never did. <laughs> You're right, if I want to get in our if I want a relationship to get it to the next level, I should not wait around. Or we could actually do something useful and, like, test out how your fighting style is coming along. With the new buffs. Maybe this time you won't take a ball in the gut while running at a dummy. You know? Do the stuff you came here to do. Heh, <laughs> that's all in the past. Now my main goal is to find love. And you will not make me lose my chance. Understood? P perfectly Wow. I actually felt fear for a second. Let's go now. I have a date with a tiger. And by that, I mean a casual meeting, but you know how it is. I didn't bother taking my clothes off last night, so I don't have to worry about getting dressed. 
I'm about to go, I'm about to go, I'm about to go fight, so no reason to take a shower either. All I need is some breakfast, and... Oh, hey, Aiden brought my luggage. I was just thinking about it. I take some deodorant out. Just because I don't shower does not mean I have to smell like a musty animal. On top of the luggage is a note. Travis, I left this note in case you didn't check your phone. I must apologize for last night. I'll be waiting for you right outside the building. Shoot! I forgot I even have this thing. I check my notifications. Thankfully, the only one, the only one there is Aiden's message. The same on the, as on the paper. Hmm. I'm not lying when I say I don't remember for sure what he wants to apologize for. We caught him closing your door when we got back. He was being a creep. And suspicious. Now, why would he do that? He refused his invitation to fuck yesterday. He probably wanted to try again. But chickened out? That makes... But it makes no sense. But if it's true, that means... That you should be the one to apologize? Agreed. Don't gaslight me. It was not my fault for saying no. But for our sake, I will apologize nonetheless. What should I even say? Sorry, the demon inside me cock-blocked you? Sure, let's go with that. No. We walk in the main lobby. I decided to just speak my mind to Aiden. No brain, just heart to heart. The door is open. The sky is still pink, and a slight wind through my fur makes me chilly. I look around for some orange striped fur. But it seems it found me. It was just casually playing with a dagger by throwing it up and down before spotting me. Travis, I'm glad you came. Not like I had a choice. This is the only way out. Actually, there are two back exits, exits and a teleporting exit. Oh, I didn't know that. So, should I pretend I didn't see you yet, or... Oh, no, no, no. Even if I knew, I would still want to meet you. That's good to know. So first off, as I mentioned in the note, I wanted to apologize. I've been acting like a jerk since we've met. The truth is, I'm going to stop you right there. There's nothing to apologize for. I'm relieved to hear it, but I believe you deserve an explanation still. You're wrong. Everyone has their secrets. I sure have mine. I agree, but I really think you should know that I... No, Aiden, I respect your privacy too much. And frankly, I feel like the one who should, apo who should apologize. Why? Because I so rudely refused your invites. Multiple times. Oh, that. Don't worry about it. I was, um, a little drunk. Multiple times. But you should hear me out anyway. No need. I know everything I need to know. It's literally my big secret that nobody... I said it's fine. We should just go. Are you sure you don't want to know? Shh. Less talking, more walking. To the cafeteria. If you say so. At least I can say I tried. What the fuck? He's trying to tell you his big secret, you idiot. <laughs> oh, Hama, you've got an idiot-sensing hand. Maybe. Why do I have this sudden feeling to kill an idiot? Hmm. Where is Monty when you need him? This will be my first breakfast in the cafeteria. I wonder what they'll serve. Maybe I can have my usual chocolate cereal. God, that sounds good. Aiden really wanted to apologize and explain himself, but it's my fault he was in that situation in the first place. How stupid can I be to forget my stuff in the front door, in front of his door? Good thing he doesn't question me. I had to let him talk as little as possible. There are a decent number of people here, not as many as yesterday for lunch, but more than at dinner. We get in line and two tired faces show up behind us. Oh my. Oh god. Uh, good morning, Tate. Uh, good morning, Dallin. They both give me a very apathetic, exhausted good morning. Someone looks like crap today. Yeah. What happened to you? I was just minding my own business and pillow fort when I get ambushed by a wild bear. It was me, not a bear. How can I tell the difference in the middle of the night? I had to get him off before he runs off. I had to get him before he runs off. Or he wouldn't come to detention. But I scared him. And? I flew out the window, obviously. I always had a broom at hand. I always have a broom at hand. I grabbed the brooms in, but the weight was too much. If only you had less dinner. That's not the reason, you midget. Oh no, I'm turning into Aiden. I Tate, I'm so sorry. You're turning into everyone that knows his cat for more than a couple of days. Not me specifically. Anyway, we crashed in the forest. A small night fell and got hold of Tate. Did it penetrate? Aiden! What? It's a legit question. No, I stopped it. But more came, and we had to run. I got, but it got lost. And the stupid nightfall and drained almost all my magic. I couldn't teleport away or fly again. Thankfully, we texted Marina, Nat, and Marina and Chelsea, and they tracked us down. Good thing she used me to test her new tracking chip invention. Apparently, we weren't even that far from the main gate. Dude, don't tell them that. Oh, uh, sorry. 
You know, Dallin has to suffer just so you don't get into more trouble, Tate. You should at least try to cooperate. I know detention must be boring, but trust me, you're not losing much around here. I beg to differ. Not helping. But... I just want to spend time with you. Why? I want to... I want to, but look, we spend, t we spend time right now, but then at practice later, and at every meal, it's fine. I guess. But as your first and best friend, I deserve more attention still. Don't forget that for the future. Promise, I, I won't. Huh. <sighs> Thanks, Travis. Maybe I won't be half dead by practice time. We sit down and eat. Although, they didn't have the brand of cereal I was used to, it did not matter. As da- as Delana. <laughs> Is that the female Dallin Delana? As Dallin and Aiden kept insisting I need protein and energy, not sugar. They were not wrong, but definitely annoying. Let man eat his sugar, damn it! Aiden offered to pay for me again. And I'm not the usual- and I'm not the type to refuse free food. We discussed the practice battles some more, mostly for my sake. Considering I know nothing about it. At least I know I'll have a partner for sure. Aiden was quite clear on that. High school all over again? Nope. Not the only one without a pair this time. And my pair is also hot. The rules are simple. Get a buddy to beat up the other pair. Not le No lethal magic or weapons are allowed. And that's about it. Even the shard leaders are allowed to participate. I'm not as stressed out as I thought I would be. If you told me a week ago I had to fight anyone with, almost, with my almost non-existing abilities, I would have left the country. But I suppose having these three as my friends helps with the anxiety. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!